proceed? This is a statement by Azimio La Umoja parliamentary group. As everyone is aware, now, we are marching on Nairobi on the 20th of March 2023, which is next Monday. We reiterate that the planned march has our full support as the parliamentary group of Azimio La Umoja, one Kenya coalition party. The march is, a necess is, a, is, a, is necessary as a last resort aimed at restoring the dignity of our people who are being treated by utter contempt by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. With the march, we want to make it clear to the regime that the government must be about the people and must work for the people. We want to make it clear to all that leaders must listen to the voices and cries of the people and those who don't end up paying a steep price. Kenya Kwanzaa has ignored the voices and cries of the people for the last six months and now the people want to assert themselves, reclaim their space and take over their country. That begins in earnest on Monday, the 20th. Kenya Kwanzaa has hurt our economy through deliberate acts of omission and commission. Therefore, for the chain of events that are set to unfold beginning Monday, the regime has only itself to blame. We, what are the facts, what are the acts of commission and omission? Number one, cost of living. While leaders around the world introduce subsidiaries to protect people from the rising cost of living, Mr. William Ruto shocked the nation by snapping subsidy on petrol, electricity, unga, and school fees. He then proceeded to introduce more and higher taxes on basic goods, leading to all-time high prices. The high cost of goods is, therefore, a direct result of Ruto's decision and policy choices and which he continues to stand by. It is not that there is nothing and instead make their lives more miserable. I will repeat that. The cost of high good, the cost of goods is therefore a direct result, result of Ruto's decision and policy choices which he continues to turn by. It is not that there is nothing Kenya Kwanzaa could do to save the people of Kenya. The regime chose not to help the people and instead make their lives more miserable. On Monday, the people will seek to show them that they may be poor and hungry, but they still wield the power. Number two, discrimination in state appointments. The Kenya Kwanza regime has continued with a policy that makes Kenya a one community nation in which critical appointments to public offices go only to members of one ethnic group. That this is happening at a, at a time literally every family in Kenya has a son, a daughter, a father, a mother looking for a job. On Monday, the people will seek to speak to Ruto directly, register their unhappiness with the state of affairs and demand inclusivity in appointments. Number three, privatization of Kenya. For the first time in our 60 year history, as a country, we are being told that Kenya is a private company in which the shares you hold depend on how you voted and how much money you contributed to Mr. Ruto and Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa during the campaigns. We are being told that in this Ruto Rigadi company, jobless young people can only hope to join crucial bodies like security forces, 
upon providing proof that they are card-holding members of UDA. On Monday, we converged in Nairobi for a special general meeting to tell Mr. Ruto and Mr. Rigadi that Kenya belongs to us all regardless of how or whether we voted and contributed to UDA campaign kitty. I will now invite the minority leader of the National Assembly to proceed with the rest of the speech. Uh, number four, <coughs> audit of IBC servers. As a party, we adhere to the principle that only a legitimate government that is elected by the people and enjoys the confidence of the people can put people at the center of its agenda and work for the welfare of the people. It is in pursuit of this principle that we have been calling for an audit of IBC servers as a step towards electoral justice and ensuring integrity of elections in future. Ruto has continued to resist those calls. On Monday, the people of Kenya will gather in Nairobi to enforce that they mean what they are saying. They will be in Nairobi to reiterate that they are tired and can no longer tolerate regimes that come to power by usurping and manipulating the people's will as expressed at the ballot. Number five, assembling the new IBC. We will be in Nairobi on Monday to make it clear to Mr. Ruto that we do not support his decision to reconstitute the IBC without consulting other stakeholders and interested parties, including the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party. Number six, assault on multi-party democracy. We will be in Nairobi to tell Mr. Ruto that we have taken note and strongly oppose his, his determination to make Kenya a one-party state by buying legislators, orchestrating meaningless defections, and forcing other parties to fall and join his own. Number seven, <clears throat> regime incompetence. It is now clearly evident and undisputed that Kenya Kwanzaa is an extremely incompetent and clueless regime, and to allow it to continue pretending to be governing is to betray the country. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Our Kenya shilling has collapsed and the regime doesn't know what to do. The dollar has simply disappeared. Cost of unga, electricity and fuel is still going up and Kenya Kwanza has no explanation and does not know what to do. From the above, it is clear the issues Kenyans are complaining about are not with us by accident. These issues are about the choices made by the Kenya Kwanza regime. There are many other policies Kenya Kwanza could have pursued, but they chose the ones whose net effect has been to cause more suffering among the people, create uncertainty in our future as a country, and destroy our institutions. Our decision, our decision therefore, to march on Nairobi on Monday is born out of necessity. We fully support it and we appeal to all Kenyans to come out peaceably and unarmed and march on Nairobi so that we can take back our country. Thank you. I'll be inviting the Honorable Edwin Sifuna, Edwin Sifuna, Senator for Nairobi, to make some further comments. Thank